10 mistakes that slip through editing in SpongeBob. Number 10. SpongeBob SquarePants is definitely one of the most popular TV shows of all time, and being that most episodes are fast paced and packed with the unique humor of our underwater heroes, there are some things that slip through without the viewers even noticing. These mistakes that the animators miss during the editing process are most of the time negligible, and some of them are even so minor to the point where you need to rewind the scene to actually spot them. In this scene we can see Patrick Star being stuck in a hole and the scene is filled with something that is very hard to miss, a bunch of pickles on the ground. So unless someone took the time to clean up the mess, this is an obvious editing mistake, simply because in the next scene he gets it right, the pickles are gone. Number 9. In this scene, Sandy is eating a Krabby Patty and holding the remote control. Just a couple of seconds later, the scene cuts to the TV and when it cuts back to Sandy, the remote is gone. You could say she put it in her pocket, but why would she do that? Or maybe someone magically removed it. Keep watching. Now, Bikini Bottom Action News! <gasps> oh, hey Patrick! <laughs> After she turns around towards Patrick, the scene cuts once again, only for the remote to be standing on the table next to her, just like it should have a couple of scenes ago. Wait! It's love! The secret ingredient is love! <gasps> no more Krabby Patties! If I'd have known that! Number 8. For our next pick, we chose something that can easily be spotted by everyone simply because it's very obvious. As Patrick is holding on to an ice cream cone, ready to dig in, the next scene shows a close-up of the ice cream cone itself, but something is missing. The view is meant to be from Patrick's perspective. That's right, his hands are missing. So unless he somehow managed to fall off, this is a straight up editing mistake. But the follow up scene clearly shows that Patrick is very much still holding on to the ice cream cone and he's clearly not levitating now is he? So was it that hard to include his arms in the scene as well? Dig in Patrick, you deserved it. Where have you been all my life? <laughs> Number 7. In the next pick, there is a hungry crowd in the Krusty Krab eagerly waiting for their favorite Krabby Patties. As Spongebob is doing his thing, a bunch of Krabby Patties come flying towards the crowd and we see that they're pleased, this lady especially. Two Krabby Patties for the fox and bikini bottom, just as much as they love. So if you manage to see her in the crowd, then this next scene is going to raise some questions. How is it possible that she is now sitting at the table munching on another Krabby Patty? Unless she's an illusionist or you know, unless it's her twin sister, this is a very obvious mistake. Come on now, we know you love Krabby Patties very much, but you simply cannot be in two places at once. One would think that they would have changed your clothes at least. The fox and bikini bottom, just as much as they loved eating them. Why, you may ask, do they love this greasy little sound? Number 6. But that's not all they've missed in the Krusty Krab scenes. In the kitchen, stuff that wasn't there before magically appears in the next scene. We see a nice close-up of some vegetables and a ketchup dispenser. Hmm, but we kind of feel this empty space on the left needs something more. A mayonnaise and a mustard dispenser at least. I mean, think about it, that's exactly what it needs to be complete. Come to eat a thing called the Krabby Patty. Every greasy spoon has a fry cook, and the one who worked here was named Spongebob Squarepants. Well, what do you know? As Spongebob appears in the next scene, we can all of a sudden see the complete setup on the table behind him. And the cut only lasts a few seconds, so there is no indication that it was simply a matter of time passing, but rather just another tiny editing mistake. Greasy spoon has a fry cook, and the one who worked here was named Spongebob Squarepants. Number 5. Coming up on this next pick, we have a very funny scene from the Spongebob movie. As the squad is standing on the coast, Squidward inks himself. 
Way to go, buddy. But in his defense, SpongeBob did need the ink. But shortly after, and we are talking seconds here, as one of the pelicans is about to land right next to SpongeBob, you can pretty much already guess where this is going. Some ink. Oh, which Squidward is helpfully provided. It happens when I'm nervous. Whatever you're gonna do, make it quick! They're closing in on us! That's right, the ink is now gone. And for something that noticeable, this very much counts as yet another editing mistake. Especially because it's only a matter of seconds from when we see an ink pool below Squidward to the point when the seagull is landing next to Spongebob. How could they forget to add something as funny as this? Gonna write us an ending. Will it be a happy ending? It's gonna be super power! Number 4 Coming up on number 4 we have another scene in which objects start magically appearing. As Plankton and Spongebob are talking to Karen, we can see that the panel on the right side of Plankton is very much empty, but he simply wishes he had a nice little switch and some buttons to press. For the brains. Okay Plankton, this is it. It's gonna take all my processors and energy to power this time machine, so if you have anything you wanna tell me, you better tell me now. But don't worry, as things appearing out of nowhere is a relatively common phenomenon. So why stop now? Energy to power this time machine. So if you have anything you want to tell me, you better tell me now. Well, Karen, I know I've taken you for granted. That's right. A nice little switch, along with some buttons, appear right next to Plankton, so he doesn't have to worry about a thing anymore. Well, Karen, I know I've taken you for granted all these years, and. I... I just wanted to say... I'm glad you're on my TM. Number 3 In the scene where Plankton is rappelling down to try and steal the recipe, we see a ship in a glass bottle on top of a chest, just a bit to the left from the vault. Harry. Plankton had made it his life's work to steal the recipe. <laughs> Please, let's talk about this. But as Spongebob steps in with his awesome vacuum cleaner, well what do you know? The glass bottle with the ship inside is not there anymore. Heal the recipe. Uh, Spongebob, please, let's talk about this. And Spongebob was always there to protect it. But today, things... Why put something as common as a ship in a bottle when it's gonna be gone the next time you wanna notice it? There you go, another editing mistake. And Spongebob was always there to protect it. But today, things would be different. Number 2 In this Mad Max inspired scene, you may wonder why we chose this one in particular. As Patrick is holding Spongebob, we can see a glimpse of Spongebob's house in the background. Something that you would think is impossible to leave out as, after all, it's his house. But as Patrick gives the signal and the scene cuts, you can presume what's about to happen. The angry mob rushes towards them, the scene cuts back to Patrick holding Spongebob, but there is something missing. His house is gone, as if it never existed in the first place. Come on, Spongebob, let's get out of here! Patrick! Patrick, why are you doing this? Because I'm Number 1 in a scene that's potentially inspired by Armageddon, you would think there would be more debris underground, broken glass to be more specific. As the table breaks the window, a bunch of broken glass falls on the floor. But in the next close-up scene, you may notice something a bit different. Well, Plankton, I guess we failed to accomplish our goals. We? But even it's as if the glass had somehow gotten more cracks all of a sudden, yet in the previous scene, there was barely any. Failure hurts a little less when you do it as a team, right? This is all your fault! <laughs> My fault? You're the one. Thank you for watching this video. Be sure to leave a like, subscribe to always stay on top of our uploads, and comment down below saying I subscribed and will reply to everyone who does. Thank you for watching and see you next time.